Um, hey everybody, this is the week seven TCL 70 weekly meet. We look like we are in the middle of doing stuff because we are, um, hit the record button a little late. We just resolved a merge conflict and are getting the last of it for issue number 13 ready to merge. Okay. That was the context. I think everything looks good. Everybody, are we good with the merge button? Yep. <clears throat> okay. Ready? Mm -hmm. All right. All right. Yay. <laughs> okay. Now go ahead and delete your branch. And now you look like a pro having just merged a merge conflict within like the first four <laughs> seconds of the weekly meet. Um, so you look like a total git wizard. <laughs> All right. Um, did you all do normal intro -y stuff while I was late showing up to the meeting or... Do we still want to do kind of the check-in stuff? No, we jumped right into the merge. We just jumped right in. All right. Yeah. Well, how would everybody do? I know we worked through some fun get stuff. Um, really night at that yesterday, and then um, a little bit today in the start. But other than a couple of get merge problems. How'd everything else go this week? Uh, it was going. I the Git problems only thing. I think that overshadowed everything. <laughs> I can't think of anything else. No. Well, cool. Um, in that case, do we want to roll right into regular demos? Anybody want to go first? Um, Amanda and I can go if that's okay. Yeah. So I have I have our app pulled up already. All right. My goodness, I minimized Zoom and now I don't know how to get it back up. I'm too old. <laughs> Come on, Zoom. All right, there we go. Thanks. Where are we? All right. So Amanda and I had to do the issue where we had to sort the list by purchase urgency. Um, how do I get over to the next thing now? And in our app, what we need to do is like you select a list. You go over here and you start adding your items. And when you add an item, it will ask you for the urgency. So like Apple, you can write soon. And you get, say, um, butter kind of soon what else do you buy at the grocery store eggs so soon as well flour not soon and what should happen when you go to the list is that it should basically sort it by how soon you need it so apple is soon you have butter kind of soon and flour not soon. And apple and eggs are both soon, but they're also arranged by alphabetical order. And that was basically our issue for the week. Um, Molly, do you want to show them if you purchase an item and change in the Firebase to 60 days before to show them that inactive? Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, I'll put a random item right now. Okay. Mm -hmm. you need, I think you need to purchase for, oh, not really, you don't need to purchase first. You sure? I think you need to change from no in, into a date, not sure. <laughs> it's no right now, I know. If you purchase first, it, uh, it might be better. Yeah, I think it would be better if you purchase first. Mm. Just purchase an apple. And yeah. and change date last purchase. Are we going back? I think we're going back, right? Before, like maybe January. Something. Yeah, yeah. Come on. 
Oh my goodness. I'm not sure. It might not let you if you're if it's before your date created. Okay. Um. Let's change date created. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you might be watching both of those. Let's just like do that. Oh, there it is. Let's go. Okay, it's January first. Unless there you like date last purchase was changed just as well. Yeah, that was it. Let's see if it changed anything. Oh my goodness, this bar. Yep. Yeah, so see it changed to inactive. Okay, I think that's it. Am I missing anything else? And it's sort to the last, but I'll yeah. I'll tell you it's sort to the last. Okay, okay. all right. You ready? Yep. All right. Um can anyone see my screen? This is the confirmation. Yeah. Yep. Not yet. Oh. Um might be me because I'm on mobile phone internet, so I'll be quiet. Okay, I think I heard a yes, so I'm gonna okay, I'm gonna go now. Okay. Um the first thing I'll talk about the sorting logic, which is in the compare purchase urgency. Um we actually throw this sorting logic inside. I think it is list list. Yes, we throw it into the sort function of list uh for our data after it's being filtered. Uh, it basically is the sort functions that default by like us, the alphabetic order or the number orders, or you can put inside any customized function, which compares two elements. And this is what we did. We define a customized function um, that compares A and B, just a random. And for A and B, uh, we first define a threshold for easier use, which is 60 days. Um, this is a 60 days threshold in milliseconds. And today, and we compare uh, whether, we first want to see whether the date last purchase is uh, exists and some items don't have, have never been purchased before. If it exists, then we compare to date from last purchase and also similar with B. And now we compare whether it's above the threshold. If it's above the threshold, it means it's inactive. And we um we return minus one. Uh we return one when A is inactive and B is not inactive. Uh out and basically the one and minus one is minus one means A is before we want A before B. Minus uh, one is B before A. And that's the basic logic. Um and after we check if everything's active, then we come to check the second thing, um, the days until next purchase. Similarly, we just grab that uh, prom uh, property, yeah, and compare the, the days until next purchase between A and B. If A is uh, less, it's minus one, which means A is before B sorting. And if the same, we compare by the name, by the name property, so um, depending on what it returns, minus a, minus one, one or zero, uh, it would return different re sorting results. And as for the calculate urgency, um, we pass in days until purchase and date last purchase. Uh, we first check the active function first. Um, if if this date last purchase has been purchased before, we check if it is. Um, what is the date last purchase? In if it's uh, greater than sixty, return inactive. If it's not, then we like uh, be more specific. Go into seven, whether it is soon, whether it's kind of soon or not soon. And lastly, use this function as a lay in our labeling in our UI tag, where which is list item list item. The top top. Yes, here. We pass it into urgency and just um kind of wrap them into a uh, Java in the um in the USX function passes urgency inside and we will display out the urgency. Yeah. So this is what is happening. Okay. 
Nice. Nice job. Yeah, great work. <laughs> this was a complicated one and it totally works. So congratulations. Thank you. Awesome. All right. I'll show uh, the UI for ours. We basically just had to render a delete button uh, and then delete the item. A lot less complicated than Amanda and Millie's issue. Um, here, if we click the delete, it shows a little pop up. Uh, if it's true, then it deletes. And here, I'll just demonstrate the cancel and it shows a nice little message. And uh, I'll let Grace take over and explain the code. So basically we added a button, a delete button for every item in the list. And if it's clicked, then it will trigger the handle click function, which basically it shows the confirmation window. Um, and if they decide to delete the item, then it will use the delete item function that we updated in the Firebase file. Um, if there's any sort of error going on, then we'll console log that error and also let the user know that something went wrong. If the user decides to not delete the item in the end, then we'll also let them know that they canceled that deletion. And in the Firebase file, uh, the delete item function was pretty straightforward. So we're basically passing in the list path an item ID so that we can reference that specific item. And then we also imported the delete doc method and we pass in that reference to delete that specific item. Yeah. Awesome. So yeah, I mean, not, not as complicated, but man, I hate not being able to delete stuff. Super important <laughs> and it works. So great, great job, you guys. Good and job. That's for demos. Let's do or, let's see here. Re retro. Retro. <laughs> All right, who's ready for a retro? Um, does everybody have the link? I'll link it again. Uh, oh yeah, it's up in Slack still. Would you mind dropping it in the chat? I sure can. Thank you. Go. Share my screen. I feel like we're all we all know the sort of the drill here. Um, what do we do? Five minutes last time. For seven minutes? I can't remember. Five-ish. Uh, yeah, five-ish. Let's do five and uh, go ahead and I was just, I guess I just wanted to show y'all we are doing exactly the same thing as last time. And yeah, that's it. So I'll set a timer. And I will let you guys know when it is time. Time starts now.
All right, we are at time. Is everybody good? Awesome. I'll share my screen again and we'll go over what we all wrote. There we go. All right, let's start with appreciations. Um, so again, I'll start out by um, reading stuff. And um, I guess I shout out when you, if you want to add on to anything. So um, definitely appreciate everyone continuing to show up and being present. Everyone is doing great work. Big agree on that one. Yeah, that was me. Um, yeah, there's just a lot going on. And I feel like, you know, we're moving along really well. And I feel like, yeah, everyone's just kept a really good attitude and is, is clearly like really into what we're doing together, which is, is a really, really great feeling. So just want to shout everyone out in the group. Awesome. And this next one was me. I just wanted to thank everyone for working through the merge conflict together. Um, I was really hoping we could all come together and see how that would go. So that was a, a good little learning experience for all of us. And next, uh, Millie being a good pair and mentors for the Merge Conflict lessons. Thank you. That was me. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, I appreciate the team as always and the self-learning modules provided by TCL. Yeah, that's me. Uh, just good vibes, good communication, just good teamwork. And also the self-learning modules provided because there's a lot of information out there and uh, sometimes there's like a analysis paralysis type of thing. It's good to have one source of truth. Quote unquote. Yeah, for real. Can be overwhelming. Uh, big thanks to Lyle for sitting through an hour to help with get rebase issue. That was me. It was an it was hour. Fun. <laughs> it was an hour. That's awesome. What a hero. Thanks, we Lyle. got it somewhere <laughs> that made sense yeah nice and uh so getting all the help we can with different issues that come up awesome pairs every week oh that was me uh yeah just really appreciate all the help we get and working with awesome pairs all the time nice that's really good to hear a shout out to amanda for just doing awesome work that's me great work amanda <laughs> Yeah. Seeing really great communication in PR reviews. Yeah, a lot of good communication for sure. Yep, another one for me. Um, yeah, I feel like everyone's just shown, I don't know, a lot of awareness. Like it can be hard sometimes, like finding like a good balance of like suggestions and like being curious about things. But I just feel like you all have good comments, ask questions, address feedback really well. So yeah, it's really, really great to see. And last but not least, all the mentors for continuing to help with all of our issues. That's me again. And of course, we're super happy to do it. We'd love to do this. Now, what went well? You all have built a fully functioning app. Yeah. I mean, that's it. We're done. Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But um, oh. I mean, again, the functionality is, is really great. You know, um, it's clean. It's It's exactly what we've asked you to do, which again is amazing. So really, really nice job. Yeah. And so I basically said the same thing. This one's mine. Yeah. All to spec and in plenty of time. Now we can't wait for the design. All functions are in here, wait for the design. And we have an agree down here. Yeah. The design part is fun. Who's really looking forward to the design? Because I know some of us were scared of it. We've talked about it before. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm looking forward to it. We all have consistently crushed requirements and delivered on time. Such professionals. Absolutely true. Yep. Can't stress how important that is in the real world. You guys are doing great. The app is functioning and we didn't delete half the app. Yes. That was me. <laughs> <laughs> That's all we want in life. All right. Now, what can we improve? We can improve Lyle's internet connection. You guys, can we get on that? Who Someone that? call Comcast. <laughs> Read a letter. Again, some fear about designing the app. Who's going to design the app? Not me, please. <laughs> I wrote that. I'm yeah. joking, but uh, I think it'd be fun to uh, for each of us to come up with some kind of wire frame or a little yeah. drawing. Yeah. For sure. 
Have any of you guys worked with Figma yet? I have a little bit. I'm, I'm not saying I'm good. I just, I've been in Figma. <laughs> I opened the app before. It's complicated. Yeah. <laughs> I think you can use it for free to get started doing something like this if you wanted. Yeah. And that goes right into hope to learn designing. And then the next agree, designing's hard. So yeah, I mean, this will be good to design something without an actual designer guiding you. It's all on you guys. Figuring out next steps without clearly defined requirements. Yeah, this is intentional for the last few weeks. I just encourage you all to step up and be willing to take risks and take your communication to another level. Yeah, so we'll talk more about this when we talk about our final issue. But um, yeah, I, I just think that, you know, we, we have time. We've kind of built up, you know, all these skills and this trust over the last, you know, six, seven weeks. And now it's just like how how do we like finish strongly, right? And I think that without having like nicely little wrapped issues for you to work on, it's like, we're basically just like giving that all to you. <laughs> and so, yeah, it's exciting. And I think that, you know, it's just gonna, it, it will require like, you know, some ownership or require people, like all of you stepping up and, you know, just making sure that, um, yeah, everyone's staying on top of it. So, so yeah. A solid plan for designing this app. Yeah, that was me. How are we going to go about it? What are we going to do? Basically what DJ said. Yeah. So I feel like we're going to talk about that when we talk when we uh, next. We'll talk about that next, how we can organize that and uh, push it forward. Uh, and I just wanted to bring this up. I feel like it wouldn't be a proper retro, even though this seemed to resolve itself. I just wanted to bring up the Firebase issue. It seems to be fine. So I mean, if we don't know what happened, it resolved itself, didn't come up again. But um, just want to acknowledge that don't want to sweep that under the rug. Just something to keep an eye on. Um, I don't think we have any action items out of this, except that we, because we know we're going to be moving on to talking about the issues. I think that's the big one on everybody's mind, figuring out the design steps. So I think that is it. I think we've done a retro. If everybody feels good about that, unless some, anybody wants to bring up something else. I'm okay with that. Stop sharing. Stop it. There we go. Dang it, Zoom. I'm also old and don't know how to use Zoom. All right. So time has come. We are moving on to <laughs> last issue ever. Why can I not? Oh. OK. So we've all looked at this. I'm not sharing yet. Sorry, hold on. OK. Hopefully you can see the right screen. Um, cool. So we're at issue number 14. Um, so as a user, I want the app to look professional and welcoming. That's all we're getting. Um, so the last two weeks of the project will function a little differently than the rest. Your team will self-organize around the lightweight design process to come up with a polished look and feel for your app. This will require you to make decisions together as a whole team, then implement your vision. The process outlined here is our best suggestion for how to proceed, but you are free to take whatever approach you see fit. Uh, you'll notice this is the last issue on the board. That's because the expectation is for you to write the stories needed to complete the implementation of your design direction. As always, we as your mentors will be here for guidance if you're not sure how to proceed. So again, I think there are a couple of big things to take away from this, right? Um, you know, this is not our traditional like breaking off into pairs, right? This is whenever again everyone's coming together as a whole team to go through this. Um, and I think it really is kind of like split up into two parts. The first part is kind of coming up with your plan. The second part is actually like creating stories um, that you can then use to branch off into smaller pairs or individuals, whatever you want to do, um, to actually implement your plan. So that's kind of the best way to do it. I've seen teams go about this in different ways. Um, but yeah, from a high level, that's kind of where we are asking you to, to move forward. Um, any questions so far? Thoughts, comments? Okay, cool. So a little, a few notes about the design process. 
Um, so these are just some things to start thinking about, again, talking about um, as you are um, working on your plan together. So number one, uh, what is the tone you're going for? Or what feeling are you try to, trying to convey? Um, and then, you know, trying to come up with three to five words that best capture how you want users to perceive your app, right? So I think that's kind of like, again, designer mindset, thinking about like when someone first goes to your app, what is the, like the first impression you want them to have, right? Is it goofy? Is it, you know, professional? Is it whatever, right? That, that can be completely up to you all. Um, and again, just seeing some examples, fun, clean, ironic, business-like. Uh, et cetera, right? Those are all different ways you can go uh, when thinking about what you want your app to feel like. Um, next, uh, it would be a good idea to create a mood board. Um, so this just kind of helps everyone align, get on the same page whenever it comes to these different kinds of, um, you know, these terms that you're looking at. Um, and so, you know, just a place to kind of organize. Uh, and then number three, de decide on fundamental elements of your design which include things like typography, right? So that's like fonts. What's, you know, it's it's pretty easy to have like global fonts that you use throughout your app. That's that's a good thing to use, uh, to bring in. Um, colors, right? We've kind of kept things very simple and basic, but that is something you can definitely incorporate. Um, obviously making sure that they are accessible. There is a lot on color contrast and that sort of thing. I'm not saying you have to go super in depth on that, but again, it's just kind of, there's there is a resource here for you to check out. Um, and then any sort of iconography, imagery, pictures, right? Um, anything you want to add, just kind of like make things kind of pop out a little bit more. That's all good. Number four, um, decide whether you want to code your CSS from scratch or integrate a CSS framework. There are pros and cons to each. Um, I am sure there are some opinions in here. Um, I, yeah, let's just keep going, but so, the first point is here, vanilla CSS. So again, that's just like very basic CSS files, no extra libraries or anything. Um, gives you more control. But the other side of that is that you have to like do a lot more to get kind of a baseline um, design into your app. Not a lot more. It just kind of depends on what you want to do. The other side of that is frameworks. Um, they help you get things done faster. But at the same time, you're kind of giving up some of that control um, whenever you're actually trying to make changes. Some frameworks can be really inflexible. Sometimes there's like a really big learning curve for certain frameworks. Um, and it kind of just depends on like how much time you want to spend, right, getting to know a particular framework. Um, so let's say you do go down the path of choosing a framework, which again is a very common thing. Um, there are definitely some options you want to make sure you uh, think through. And kind of, you know, this is going to help you pick one of these. So number one, quality of documentation. Does this framework, is it actively like maintained, right? Um, are there docs where you can just go to Google or whatever and be like, hey, how do I do this thing? And there will be a community of people, a community of like, you know, uh, resources where you can get answers to those questions. That's really, really important. Ease of integration, right? So whenever you're like installing the framework, using it throughout your app, Again, is it pretty straightforward to use? Um, that's a big consideration. Built with accessibility in mind. Again, obviously a big thing we want to think about. And then activeness of the community, right? So again, thinking about, think, like again, frameworks that are just more common, widely used, probably would be pretty easy to do a search just to kind of see like what's out there. Uh, but there are some here that we link in this issue, Bootstrap, Chakra UI, Material UI, Semantic UI. Tailwind as a uh, CSS, these are all really common frameworks um, that you can incorporate. So again, that's kind of like an implementation detail, I feel like. That's how you're going to get your designs into the app is by using one of these frameworks or vanilla uh, CSS. Um, but again, that's just the second part, right? There's the planning phase and then kind of figuring out how you're going to do that. Um, so yeah. Any questions, comments so far? I know, again, this is kind of a lot um, to digest, but again, we've been talking about this for a few weeks, so you know, hopefully isn't too too big of a surprise. Um, but does anyone have any initial comments, questions, anything? Um, before we even design, do we want to talk about the user flow and wireframing stuff up? Absolutely. I think that's a really great idea. 
Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. That, that, that's something that can definitely be used to help everyone out. And also it can kind of break things down. Right. I think when we're thinking about design, like we're thinking, Oh God, we have to like do the whole app, but if you can break things down into components into, okay, as a user, the first time I'm going to see the app, what am I going to see? I'm going to see the homepage, right? How can we make that like a, a good experience for the user? And then whenever they click on a link, right? I need to create a new list. How do I want to design that particular flow? So I think that idea that you had is really, really good actually at breaking it down by kind of user flows and that sort of thing. Yeah. And I don't think, uh, again, this should go without saying, we're not going to like decide all this right now or necessarily today. Like you all are going to break off. Like that's going to be your job to kind of figure out. Um, but yeah, that's definitely the right idea. Um, other questions? So if I was y'all, I would first start working out how you're going to put the plan together before you start diving into the tooling. So like organizing, do you guys want to meet in the week? Like, so where instead of doing pair programming necessarily, are you going to do a planning session? Um, do you need time to do individual research on things you want to bring in? Um, do you want to just to draw it on a virtual whiteboard or sticky notes or something and, and then throw it in front of people? Like that's probably the first conversation to have. Yeah, I think yeah. we need to just meet up and probably get a mirror board going and just throw things at the wall and see what we want to go from there. I think we could also have, like do a collaborative um Figma workspace to demonstrate yeah our work or yeah. ideas. For sure, yeah, these were all really good ideas. What should we have uh for a minimum, uh, the, like for before the next sync that's a great question um so yeah i think by next weekend you know having that mood board kind of determined i think it would also be appropriate to have um some uh some stories written out so again if you're in our project on issues like i would really encourage you all to create new issues um and you can just kind of keep going down right add a title, add a description, like what that particular thing is going to accomplish. So I think like having, you know, at least a few of those kind of figured out initial steps, whether that's like downloading the framework or whatever you want to do, um, maybe kind of thinking about, again, how you're going to break it up into smaller pieces. Um, you know, we, we've kind of been showing that as we've gone through, right? These issues should be attainable. They should be, you know, pretty small in scope. Um, and then you're kind of gradually getting yourself to the point where you want to be. So yeah, I think by next weekend, you know, having some of those worked out, having the general kind of feel of the app figured out, and then hopefully having some issues created would be good. Rachel, Lyle, I don't know if that's sufficient enough <laughs> uh, for a week. What do y'all think? I think that's a good idea. I My first concern is just um, how, sorry, my dog is making noise. Um, that because after that week you've only we've only got like one more week, do we, or to finish the styling? Um, can we pull up the schedule? Someone who can share it, like go to the project brief, and we can look at what's coming up down the line too. Yeah. Oh, it's good quality. Make sure we got. Yeah, because I think. Okay, so we're in week seven, right? So we have eight, we have nine. And then, yeah, our demos aren't until April, is it uh, 13th? Is that right? No. I think it's around seven for eight. Like, oh, so, that, so that's week eight for, for getting the design together and then week nine, to actually implement the design, is that right? Um, I think it's actually three weeks according to this schedule. Because if we're ending April thirteenth, yeah. that's three weeks. We're not. We're we're ending on April seventh. I'm not sure why it says that. Oh, but like yeah, okay. it, yeah. April oh, 7th, I see. Yeah, yeah. three thirteenth, and so that would mean they would have to be ready by week ten to demo. 
Right. Yeah, but we're not we're not going till the thirteenth. We're going till the seventh. Seventh is the last day, and we're yeah. demoing what we got on the seventh. Right. So we have one week, two weeks here, demoing on the seventh. So really, I mean, it still is three weeks. I'm not this terrible. Is that not right? No, it's three. Yeah. Um, and we'll be doing some time during the weekly meets for doing the pairing designing stuff. So you'll have just a block of that time. The other things that are coming up is we'll have pair interview practice that we'll also be doing on week eight. And then we will basically just have week nine as kind of free time to do whatever so next week we'll have some more stuff to do that may take up some of the time and then week nine is just going to be kind of like whatever else we need to do to get it across the line yeah cool so kind of with that in mind any other thoughts about next week's sync or goals to be finished i mean i agree i think you know don't want to wait too long right it, it, it is not good. It, the time is going to go by pretty fast, I think. Um, but, but yeah. I have a question about the design. Do the links need to be where they are all the time? Do we just, can we move that around? Can we not have one of those links there and put it somewhere else? Like for instance, if you click on the list at the moment, when you go home to the home page. If you go to the homepage, like all of the lists are buttons. Oh, I yeah. I don't think a user would know that they need to select that in order to see it in the list yeah. view. Yeah, yeah so, I would expect that to be part of like the user flow, like to fix yeah. the flow. So those have to be links. So I don't know if we do something like that and we get rid of the list on the nav, would that be a problem? Does that have to be a problem? If we put like the link next to each name. Of the uh, list name. You can make the list name a link. <laughs> yeah, but is okay. is that an accessibility thing? If we um make the list name a, a link, I mean it's a button, yeah, but it doesn't have to be a button. You want to just make it a link? That's true. Style it into looking like a button. I mean that's the thing. So you got to talk about this user flow, make it accessible, mm -hmm. make it make sense because it does not make sense. You're correct. It doesn't make sense right now. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> That's part of this job. Okay. Yeah. If, yeah, if you're going to take the browser somewhere and you're going to do a redirect to some other page, mm -hmm. then it should be an anchor tag. How the anchor tag looks and what's on it's totally up to you. It's just from an yeah. HTML perspective. That's all you really care about. For sure. Um, but no, I, I would say, yeah. If you want to change the flow and functionality of the website that is entirely within the scope of, you know, the look and feel and function of, of the website, um, you know, uh, this will be true of anything that you decide to do, which is that you just want to weigh as best as you can the benefit of doing this with how much time you have and, um, the other stuff that you want to get done and you can divide and conquer these things right so you're going to have some people working on the flow and functionality while other people look on the work on the raw style you can have someone doing design while some of this boilerplate you know is kind of worked out so there's plenty of individual roles that you could split into here as well if you divide the, or decide on these things that you want to do um we're almost not gonna tell you no for anything with the exception of like ruining the app or major accessibility faux pas or, you know, that kind of thing. Yeah. Um, one other resource, and I don't know if, if anyone's seen this yet, but on TCL's website, if you go to the developers page, there's a list of every cohort that has been, and there's also a link to their completed project like in production. So you could just kind of like see the, you know, 60 plus different ways people have taken the design of their apps. Um, and definitely not saying to like copy any of that, but like you could use some inspiration and you could say like, you know, again, you can just kind of see what's been done. Um, so 
might not be a bad idea to kind of get that um get that to get just get, to get some ideas going i think and um, like 98 percent of the web was built by someone copying another website and then tweaking it a little <laughs> uh, that is very true yes <laughs> um Cool. Okay. So the issue is up here again, um, not going to be like assigning this particular issue to anybody. Probably I'm not going to make, we're not going to make like a pairing thread right this week. Again, this is kind of where we hand it off to you all. Right. Um, and so yeah, figure out the times you're going to meet, you know, continue to be loud in Slack, ask questions. Um, we will still have office hours, of course. Um, and yeah, if any questions come up, you know, definitely, bring that up but um but yeah this is when you all get to take over so you're the captains of the ship now um are we gonna have like the peer bots uh, for us for are we just discussing in the channel just use the channel and you know you can have threads in there if you want um once you actually have issues created and you want to like create pairing threads then uh anybody can do that i can show you uh how to do that in slack but i mean yeah just use just use the channel it's that's that's your space right so um so yeah um all right cool any, any last questions are we gonna have that design office hour with um i forgot who was um... thank you for asking that uh unfortunately no um that was brought up in the mentors channel because it was in, I think, the project brief initially. Um, but that um the person that had been had, had done that in the past wasn't available or it didn't get set up properly. So, anyways, yeah, that's not gonna be um that's not gonna be happening. Um, so yeah, thank you for bringing that up. That's okay, we got this. I mean, if it comes out ugly, we can act like it was intentional. We can call it the ugly shopping list app. That's what we need to do. Yeah, I mean, one of the one of the what inspiration words was ironic. So just fall back, fall back on that if you don't like it. Be like, listen, it's ironic. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. I think this will be super fun. Honestly, I think you guys are gonna have a really good time with this. Two. All right. Um, well, if we don't have anything else, Rachel, Lyle, is there anything else you wanted to bring up? No, uh, just come up with a super cool name. I want to see a name. <laughs> or don't. I don't know. Definitely. We talked about that before. It seemed like a great idea. Yeah, yeah. That's good. Um. Don't be afraid to try something that doesn't work out especially with a little bit of extra time um, this cohort than we have in the past. Um, you know, if you want to play with the tech you've heard about but haven't gotten the chance to really wrap your head around yet, this is a decent time to do that. Um, you know, like I said, it's easy to get over your head and fix something that'll take four months to try and build. So, you know, just be wary of that. But like, I don't know, man, if you're sick of everybody talking about Tailwind because Tailwind is eating half the planet right now and you want to learn it, this is a good spot for that. Or if you're like, I'm sick of everybody using Tailwind. Those people don't know CSS. Let's try and do this just vanilla. You can do that too. <laughs> or whatever. Yeah, there's that's a, a billion. Point. Yeah. Now's the time to experiment for sure. All right. Well, cool. Great job this week, everybody. Thanks again for showing up today. And um, I'm I'm doing office hours, and I'm going to aim to do those um, probably like Wednesday, Thursday. So take a look at your calendars so that we can meet and talk through everything. Um, so yeah, looking forward to it. Sounds good. Alrighty. Thanks, Take care, everybody. Thank you guys. Bye. Thanks. Bye.